Welcome to the Middle Room Workshop. Today, we are going to extend the NJ3 Pro. Without further ado, let's get into it. For a very long time, I wanted to make an extension video. I wanted to extend my old uh, Ninja Master 2S Plus. I've eventually gotten the rails, but I actually haven't ever had the time to do that. Now I have uh, gotten a uh, free of charge, the extension kit from Okiro, which is uh, an Ninja reseller company. And as you can see over here, uh, you basically get this two 1.15 meters rails, which I'm hardly able to frame entirely on the camera and a timing belt. So that's basically all you will need to actually extend your machine. Now this extension kit can work with your NJ3 Pro, NJ3 Max and other machines from the uh, second series. The extension is actually quite simple. If you have already been assembling your machine in the first place, uh, all you will need to do is to basically uh, take it apart so that you can remove the gantry axis from the two Y axis and to simply swap uh, the new um, rails. Now with this extension kit, your machine is going to become massive. I mean, you're going to have a very large engraving area. Now with the NJ3 Pro, we are starting at um, 400 times 410 millimeters. And once we swap uh, the rails, once we uh, install the extension kit, we will have uh, 1,040 millimeters times 400. Um, so the machine uh, basically will then need to work uh, in this way. Uh, I mean, it is all dependent on uh, the space that you got, but the idea is that the Y axis is going to be extended, okay? Um, so, without wasting any more time, uh, I went ahead of time to remove the MDF sheet that I had beneath it, so I don't have to show that on camera. Now, all you will need to do is to remove the four plus four bolts, which are holding down this part of the frame, and then to remove the timing belt along with the gantry. All right, so let's do that right away. So, all you will need is a Phillips screwdriver. All right, so once you got your gantry off, now it is time to uh, arrange the Y-axis with the new extension kit. So what I do suggest you to do is to just to put the gantry aside for a second, lay down the new Y-axis, as you can see over here. Okay, I'll then rotate the camera so you can see the other side and Let's 
secure the first side as we did before all right so now this is uh, done roughly okay so as you can see i've only placed uh one of the balls over here and the reason for that is because we'll need to uh, first introduce the timing belt on both sides and so then we can uh, put the uh, remaining balls so we'll do that right away so this is the new timing belt which ships with the kit now the important is that the flat side of the timing belt should be facing you so facing up and we can introduce it over here here we go small piece it's fair enough and we can secure this side as well with a screw the bolt actually okay so now this side is secured now we'll need to trim this off so I suggest you to just put them together and then to come with a cutter or a scissor and to cut this off like so so we'll repeat the same on the other side and get ready with the bolt to secure the hand of the timing belt all right all right so now it is time to insert the gantry axis so just lift this off and stick it in from both sides all right and now the tricky part is to be able to pass also the timing belt so put this in tension Keep in mind the side and direction of the timing belt. Now pass the timing belt under this wheel. Okay. And then try to rise it up. If you cannot by hand, you can help yourself with a screwdriver just to pull it out. Here we go and now you have to pass it above the pulley and under this wheel just to continue okay now you can use again a screwdriver so there you can pull it now you will notice that when you try to pull it you are unable to actually uh, pull it and the reason for that is because this rod is connected to the other side which is already engaging with the other timing belt so in order to solve this we'll need to loosen the road so now in order to be able to pull that side it is good to release this rod over here so that we can have it free and then that can spin uh, by itself okay now you can see that this is actually rotating and now it is time to pull the other side which as you can see is coming right through All right, so now before to go ahead and secure the other side, I suggest you to push the gantry all the way to that hand from the back side of the gantry. 
so that we can align ourselves and to be parallel with this part of the frame there. So you want to make sure that this touches here on the side so you can pull the timing belt. Okay. And over to this side. Okay. So this should make sure that everything is good. And so if you haven't done already, you can go ahead and tighten the flange here that is connecting this road. Now it is time to secure the other hand of the frame so that everything gets stable. So to do that, you will need to stick the timing belt through this tiny slot over here. So you can see what I'm doing. Pull it through, not that much. And now this side is done. Similarly, on the other side. All right. And now we can secure everything with the bolts. All right, so as you can see, uh, the process is fairly simple. And again, if you have already uh, assembled the machine yourself, uh, you will find absolutely no problem to actually redo the assembly. If you're buying the machine directly with this extension kit, uh, then as you see, the process is uh, simple. Now, uh, the machine is massive. And I have to say, I have a little bit of, uh, you know, space problems here. As you can see, it took my entire desk, the desk where I normally put my other machines. Um, and so, uh, now it was a little bit complicated because I had to try to be in frame for you guys to be on the camera. But if you don't have such a constraint, it, it's going to be very, very simple. Eventually, you can put yourself on the ground uh, if you don't have enough space and to do that. Now, once you are done with this, with the assembly, then you should go on your software, uh, whether you are using the Nege Desktop application or Lightbarn, and uh, we can update the size of the working area. So let's jump right on my computer and let me show you how to do that very quickly. All right, so let's first launch the Nege Desktop application. Let's see how that is going to behave. Homing failed. Um, so retry again. Yeah, finally. So now, uh, as you can see, the home failed, and that is because yet the software doesn't know that we extended the machine. So let's jump right into the settings. And over here, um, let me see, there we go. So the X axis remain at 400 millimeters and the Y axis uh, goes at 1040 millimeters. And so now click on save, success and close. Now, for example, we could try to go into the parking position to see how it is affected. And that's pretty much that center. So back to home. Yeah. Yeah, it's automatically going back to parking. And this is all with the Nege Desktop application. Let's now close this one. Uh, actually, we can quit and switch to GRBL mode. And let's now launch uh, Lightbarn. So in Lightbarn, yeah, there's an update available. We can leave it for now. Let's 
go to Nijet Pro, Nijet 3 Pro. Let's leave it to home. Let's see if also Light Barn is going to stop somewhere. Okay, Light Barn was able to push it all the way through without any problems. So let's now go into uh, device settings over here and here we can basically change the uh, dimension of the engraving area so we can go for the height and we can set it at 1040 millimeter click OK and as you can see now we have this massive area here to work with all right all right so as you can see everything works as expected um, obviously if you need to do cutting now you will need to prepare yourself with a new uh, cutting area with a new cutting sheet so that you don't damage your desk um, and so after that you are pretty much ready to go ahead and work with it now I will put uh, the link uh, of the product in the video description below and for the time being I hope you found my video helpful if you liked it uh, click the thumb button below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more video like this one ciao for now